Urus are basically used for uh, ocean travel. They are for transporting people or transporting goods. I am Dr. Prabhu. I am a professor of architectural engineering. This tradition of building boards still survives in different parts of India. The master craftsman who is in charge of that shipbuilding, he would have started working as one who probably planed the planks. Then he would have gradually got into joining of the planks. Then at the third stage, he would have started making the frame. So once you come to that level, you know how to shape things, you know how to join, you know how to check, you know how the final product will come. That is uh, deep knowledge. Hull has to be as flat as possible. Modern ships, for example, they are, they are very, very sleek. But there, the stability is controlled by so many gyro systems and mechanical devices so that they become stable. But here, the shape itself has to be stable, so a wide bottom is always preferred. After making the frame, they put the planks. But still, it is not leak-proof. In order to make it leak-proof, they do what is called caulking. For this caulking, they take a cotton wicks. And this cotton wick is introduced in the joint and by means of a chisel, they hammer it so that it goes inside. This much portion is somewhat ornamental. And probably in old ships, this will be given grotesque shape. Shape like a lion, shape like a, uh, like a bird and things like that. For any work that is coming on top of the deck, cabin making and things which have to be changed or frequently, aluminum can be used. That's why aluminum is becoming material. The advantage of aluminum is that it is very light, it can be easily fabricated, training. A craftsman, he starts maybe at the age of seven, he starts using his tools. He becomes a skilled craftsman and he rises to a particular level of a skilled worker and remains a good worker till the end of his life. They have some sort of Workmen's Compensation Act and some accident uh, insurance and things like that, but it's not, it's not uh, sufficient. Some of the people who are working even in the sector of the timber uh, shipbuilding industry, they are very old, but they don't get any retirement benefit. At the end of the life, they have to depend on their children or others or charity. Without industry, nothing will happen in India. But if the craftsmen refuse to do work, India will come to a stop.